found a gap between jobs in work and uh, so yeah I don't start my new job until Tuesday so I'm still working the weekend at the other end so I've got two nights off so I'm going camping and my kit is maxed out and it's not been this maxed out in a long time but uh, we'll show you that when we land when I say land I mean finally stop for the night no idea where I'm going got some idea of what I want to do but uh, just hope we can find ground to do it on we've had a lot of rain in the last 30-40 hours quite a lot so the river will be a bit higher than it normally is expecting a lot tonight and tomorrow so my new free soldier tarp will come in handy with the bright orange side bits <laughs> and so what have I got in my bag I've got a steel entrenching tool I've got a knife, a saw, an axe all my foods on my chest here plus my tripod for you guys although I really do feel you should be carrying it and not me but that's another thing <laughs> uh, I've got a roll mat self inflating one which doesn't actually self inflate found it in my loft from back when I started YouTube so I've put that back into use uh, wool blanket, sleeping bag Oh, Shane Coffee. Yeah, another YouTuber that sent me a, a spit roast pole and support he made. So I'm excited to really try that out because it's a lightweight and really cool piece of kit. And I want to get some meat cooked on it. So we're going to try that. I've got a lot of paracord too. My arm's getting tired. I've got a lot of paracord too. First time I've ever had so much paracord. Well, in, since the build of the first villages. So yeah, I've been stocking up in this quiet period. I've got all that wild garlic. Absolutely billions of it. As you've just spotted, look at this. It's pretty much over there where I had my fire the other day. It's completely greened over in part. Look at this beautiful daffodil. The river's definitely higher than it was on our last trip. There's, uh, this is the tip of the island and there's, there's running water through it so all the little holes are filling up now. This one here is starting to fill up there. thing about camping out all year round is you get to see everything and I kind of get to show you everything say another another few weeks and there'll be so much more greenery around it's like I see over there oh, just quick this again See over there, the wild garlic. Look, the buds are starting to come up. So we'll actually have flowers in no time. There's one there.
see. See what I do for you. This is the walk back with my camera and my tripod. I left my kit up there hanging in a tree. It is very muddy. These things are a godsend, day. Eh? And there's my kit. It's the water starting to come in. Watch it. It's going to flood these whole lower islands shortly. Running quite rapid too. I am pretty much scabbering all the firewood I can and putting it up higher just because we might not be able to get down here for another couple of days. Beautiful daffodils everywhere. I can't believe how fast these are coming. Good job I didn't camp down here. <laughs> that is just cutting in everywhere now. I have collected massive amounts of logs and all sorts off the banks. The size of that in there. There's loads of good ones. Some for building, some for burning. Gonna be my bed for tonight. That two logs, my fire pit, beautiful. So I was reading the other day, and I was reading quite a lot about rocks exploding on fire pits. And uh, yeah, in the SS Survival Handbook, there's a massive, huge caption about it. And it says pretty much don't use sandstone, don't use stones that have been fully submerged. Uh, you know, like sandstone, was that? That's uh, sandstone. You can just tell that's wet, really, by looking at it. That's going to break, though. It's not going to break. <laughs> it's not going to break. That's a bit sandstone. It is sandstone. It should break. It's all wet and flaky. Oh, there we go. Just needed a head on shot. So that's full of moisture. We need non porous stones. And to heat them gradually. And if they don't break, that's probably a good sign. That one broke. It'd be nice to find some flint one day, like. I'm not actually looking for stones for a fire pit, I'm out looking for wood as usual. But I uh, just thought I ought to say... It's a porous stone like. See it's splitting. I like breaking stones. That one's not going to break. Moving on. Little out my leg, I'm afraid. <sighs> Sun will be going down shortly behind the brow. In darkness for a few hours. Sun's behind some clouds over there. Put on my firewood, graded it. That's like waist high. Some good chunks in there. And I found lots of, uh, looks like they've been cut. 
but obviously further up maybe from trees that have been pruned on the side of the road and have went into the river but yeah they're mine now some nice beamage but uh, and that one there's too nice and straight so shame to waste them I've had a good clean up of my fire pit as you can see Tim just around the sides and fill in the moss and fill in more cracks with moss and just give it an all good uh, little sort out then I can stand wood in there to dry you see I've been eating a fryer's chocolate cream also love them almost back to the original fire pit
It's starting to get cold now. decent overhang because of the rain tomorrow morning. Well, the sun's pretty much set now. It's windy and dark. A lot of water around. But inside the shelter, no wind, nice and warm fire. Awesome. So for a late supper, cream donuts that aren't round, and some nice vanilla latte. Living the dream. It's uh, 10 p.m. at night. I'm sitting chilling next to the fire. I'm on bed. Got my sleeping bag out now. Oh, you can see. Sleeping bag, wool blanket, inflatable mat. And then the logs. It's been chilling with the coffee. As I say, just a drizzle of rain at the moment and not serious. That's me all tucked in now, next to the fire. I've put the Gore-Tex baby bag on the outside of my sleeping bag, just because in case we get side rain. We'll see you all in the morning. Very wet today. Can't believe how wet it is. <laughs> the patches of light are to see. Pay the work. Yeah, I'm going for firewood. 
Well, I will admit it took some doing. <laughs> I'm all, I'm literally full Gore-Tex up now. Gore-Tex pants, Gore-Tex jacket. It's very wet. But I have a fire and it's starting to warm my shelter back up and dry my hands. Very wet. <laughs> no, you just love Gore-Tex. Well, it looks like the rain stopped and the water's gone down a bit. It's still early morning. It's like 8 a.m. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe shouldn't have got up so early. <laughs> still loads of wood there. Look at all that. My fire's banged loads of small stuff on it just so I can get a decent hot bed before the rain comes again. Seriously considering taking down this extremely damaged moss wall. But I'm debating that yet. Popped up to get a grill and check on the moss camp. Not bad looking. Needs a little bit of patchwork. Girls now on the fire. Push the fire back towards the back so there's going to be a lot more flames on the back than the front so I can grill on there. And use that to warm the shelter and keep warm. been back in two minutes. My pants are drying already. It's still raining a lot. And I've got breakfast on. Finally. Some nice oak smoked bacon. Oh, it smells awesome. Might as well toast my rolls while I'm here. My fire's having none of that rain like. So no, I'm gonna burn regardless. Found some nice dry hazel. Cut it in half. Bone dry in the middle. Burning like a dream.
by the wayside. Trying to cook. <laughs> it's diabolical. I built a new back wall today. But I've undone that tarp just to vent the smoke from this fire because the wind's blowing it everywhere. Gammon steak on. Macaroni cheese. I wish the wind would blow away. Mad. So the water's started to come in again. A lot faster than it was last night. The uh, I've been building this today too. It's like a raised temple bed in the hope that it flooded underneath it, which it has. So hopefully it'll flood a lot more. Still need to put the sand top on it. Yeah. We'll see if it withstands. So that's me got my raised platform fire done. It's basically just wood and uh, two inch of sand stops the wood from burning. So just to uh, leave it to flood a little bit more and we'll see how it looks. <laughs> it's gonna collapse, I know it. I mean, it's, it's fairly solid. Ish, <laughs> ish. Getting hailstones now. It's not collapsed yet. All we need is some sun, and then that'll be all four seasons in one day. <laughs> I'm all uh, got us up still just uh, down watching this stuff flooding Look at that. all four legs are in there now this weather is a falling eh? <laughs> it's constantly wet and when it's not wet it's snowing and hailstone it's a bit of everything at the moment 
got hail, snow and all sorts. Be coming down Tangerine shortly, I bet you. <laughs> oh yes, the inside have changed. New support beam there for the back wall. Cross beam fixed all this wall. Looks awesome now. I've got a little table in the corner. A lot more room on that side of the fire pit. Firewood stacking system there too. Just been pottering around inside and filling in lots and lots of holes. Well, night time is almost upon us. And unfortunately, fire out. All packed up too. Unfortunately, I've just had a phone call off work. And I've got to be in work first thing in the morning. Now, so. I've got to do a quick pack up. Very quick pack up. It's getting dark shortly. I'm not going to get home before dark, like. But I'm not fussed, at least I'm. Gives us time to get all my chef whites sorted.